Do I need the mask up there? Yeah. I'll just keep it on. Congratulations on the, the Pro Bowl alternate. Um, you, when you're you get a second alternate like that, or you get a bunch of Pro Bowl votes, a lot of that was from guys that you go against, you know, guys amongst the league. Just what does it mean that that it was guys that, that you play against the guys in this league that were the ones that really gave you the most love that that league? Yeah, it's definitely a big honor. It means a lot, you know what I'm saying? People are taking notice of the way, style I play, and um, it's definitely exciting. So, a stepping stone of where I want to be. And, um, you know, I appreciate it big time. We know the, the pride guys in your position take in, in their availability and their durability. You had played every snap this season. Um, Surprise, I mean, you popped up on the intern board and obviously weren't, weren't able to get the clearance. How, how difficult? Was that for you? Because I mean, being questionable, yeah. you were kind of on the edge there. How difficult was that to sit that one out? You know, it's rough. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing, like you said, I've played just about every snap. So missing that one game and uh, not being out there with the guys, it's definitely feel like a little bit of an outsider just sitting out and watching. But, um, you know, take it for what it is, get healthy, and be back this week, ready what to happened? roll. What happened to you? Uh, just got a little crankiness in the back. I'll be good, though. You know what I'm saying? It's all cleared up. Tommy was able to step in. And, yeah, and yeah. Kudos to Tommy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just what does that say? And what does it do for the future? Maybe of that room that so many guys have been able to step in and, and play well. Yeah, I mean, it's just a kudos to the guys in the room, the leaders. You know what I'm saying? Passing down the traits of what it takes to be a great offensive lineman. Hank, uh, Deontay, Stephen, all helping coach. And um, you know, it's it's great to see that the depth we have. You know, people would love to have the depth we have over here. Guys that can plug and play and you know, not skip a beat. So, you know, hats off to Tommy. He had a great game, I thought. He played really well. And, you know, the future is bright for everybody in that room. What's the fine line between being nasty and, and being dirty? <laughs> um, I mean, the, the, being dirty is just, you know, being nasty is finishing a guy, you know, getting a pancake and rolling off, being dirty, sitting on him, grinding on him, sliding across him, you know. There's, there's that line, but you know, nasty, you're able to do the job be, you know, between the, the lines and the whistles, but just not overbearing to where you're going to cost your team. I just asked that because that's how uh, Anthony described your play, and, and when you hear that from a, from a coach, a former player, yeah. right? A guy who's no been doubt. there for a long time, when he, when he calls you that, just what does that mean? Uh, it means a lot, and you know, it's just the, the, the persona, our entire room's taken over, and you know, we take pride in being nasty and just handling our job and making sure the quarterbacks are all right, the ball's getting run efficiently, and, you know, appreciate them for saying that. On the, uh, the flip side of the Pro Bowl conversation, um, players vote. I don't know if you took the time to, to vote, uh, but I wonder how, how serious, how much thought you put into uh, who you're picking to, to represent the league and kind of go down the line of the opponents you play yeah. and watch that film. Um, we all sat in the offensive line room. We all had a collective you know, vote on who we thought was the best players. And, you know, we ran through the teams we, that we played so far this year. And, I mean, it's pretty easy to pick out the guys that are, you know, the, the standouts. But, um, yeah. How do you feel about this team right now compared to a year ago at the same time? I don't know the reference. Say it again? How, how do you feel about the, the, your team right now compared to a year ago? I think you're better and more developed than you were a year ago as a team. Um, you know the record is yeah, I mean, I, yeah, um, I would just say putting things together, you know, uh, the defense has stepped up a lot and, um, you know, just having to, being able to finish games, you know, we're starting to do that now and something we, sh you know, strive for every game. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's too much of a drop off from what it was. It's just a matter of being able to execute and finish. Yeah, just to get the field from the team right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious, um, you know, we all saw signs of, you know, this last year, just how well you're, you're playing. But is there, did you sort of look at how you play, to what do you attribute the, the status, the, uh, you know, the, uh, um, the success that you've had personally? Showing up to work every day, you know, grinding out with the group, building trust across the line, you know what I'm saying? Um, getting extra work, I would definitely say the off-season work I had with Mo working on my hands and stuff and constant indie work with Hank is, I feel like, bringing my game to a new level each and every day. You said this is kind of you know, just a stepping stone to where yeah. you want to be, ultimately, where do you want to be? Um, shoot, the top, you know, 
be at the top, all pro, pro bowl, whatever it is. And hopefully the other four guys with me are there too. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And then last thing I heard, just, you know, uh, talk about this a little bit, but the sixth offensive line pack, the sixth offensive line pack that you guys use, you really seem to be able to, you know, uh, express your, your physicality in that right dominate some of the other uh, opponents that you're facing. So just what sort of weapon has that become for you guys, I think, back in the day? Yeah, uh, just another tool in the toolbox and something we've definitely been able to take advantage of. And it's, uh, it's pretty good to have six, 300 pounders out there toting the rock, so it helps out a lot.